Hello everyone! Today, I will be doing a summary of the War of Sanrung Succession. If you all like this video, tell me in the comments if you think I should do another video for a different time period. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, and the first part is the start of the war. The War of Sanrung Succession was a 20-year conflict over which Sanrung princess, Blister, Blaze, or Burn, should receive the vacant Sanrung throne. For the first year or two, the war was internal Sandwing business. In the years 4,992 to 4,993 after scorching, trials were held to, to attempt a peaceful resolution to the conflict and determine who was the rightful Sandwing queen. However, the trials failed, and several months after their conclusion, Blister left the royal palace with nearly half of the Sanwing army, seeking out her own palace in the Bay of a Thousand Scales. A few months after that, Blaze too left the main palace to seek out her own. This left Byrne, the oldest sister, as the ruler of the royal palace and the majority of the Kingdom of Sand. While Byrne did not need intertribal alliances due to ruling the majority of Sandwings, both Blister and Blaze had to make alliances with other tribes. Blister formed a close military alliance with the Sea Wings and a looser alliance with the Mud Wings, while Blaze stayed with the Ice Wings for protection. In the year 4994 after Scorching, the war officially began. Several months after the beginning of the war, Byrne decided that a loose alliance with the Sky Wings would be useful so that she could keep an eye on Blister's forces. The deal was sealed when Byrne offered Queen Scarlet land near the Great Five Tail River. The first joint Skywing Sandwing campaign lasted for most of the war, and its objective was to find and destroy the Sea Wing Summer Palace. Right. The second part of the war is nearing the end. While the Skywing army devoted its time and energy to defeating Blister's forces, Byrne and her army of Sandwings devoted their time to tracking down Byrne's youngest sister, Blaze. Despite Byrne's army being many times the size of Blaze's, the Ice Wings came to the support of Blaze, meeting Byrne's army in the northern desert. After several months of failed attempts at finding Blaze, Byrne decided to abandon the northern front in 5004 after scorching, despite pleas from her general, Six Claws. For the first half of the war, the Nightwings had a loose alliance with Blister, mainly so that they could avoid attacks by the Sea Wings, who were also Blister's allies. By 5003 after Scorching, both the Mudwings and Sea Wings were becoming tired of the war, and so met with Blister and at her palace to negotiate a swift end to the war via attacking Burns Royal Palace. At around the same time, the Nightwings were formulating a plan from their secret island. A Nightwing named Marosir came out with the Dragonette Prophecy, which states that five Dragonettes, a Mudwing, a Seawing, a Skywing, a Nightwing, and a Sandwing, will choose the rightful queen of the Sandwings. However, in truth, this was just a ploy to make the new queen of the Sandwings in debt to them. For this to work... The war would have to last another eight or nine years, so the Dragonettes of Destiny would be old enough to follow orders from the Nightwings. The Nightwings had to stop Blister's alliance from planning their attack on the Royal Sandwing Palace, which, if their attack were to succeed, would end the war in mere months. They used one of their assassins, Deathbringer, to kill Seawing Commander Tempest during the conference at Blister's Palace and send Blister's alliance into disarray. The Sea Wings blamed the Mudwings for the death of their commander, and Blister was forced to pick which tribe to keep in her alliance. Blister chose the Sea Wings, and the Mudwings temporarily dropped out of the war. Several months later, in 5004 after Scorching, Byrne forced the Mudwings to join her alliance using fear. As Byrne's tactics became more and more brutal, many of her Sandwings, including her general, Six Claws, ran away to the Scorpion Den, a crime-rampant city in the southeast des desert. Others defected to Blaze's side, where they lived at her palace in the northern desert. As Byrne became unpopular with more and more Sandwings, by the final years of the war, Blaze was known as the favorite sister. In 5005, after Scorching, the eggs of the Dragonettes of Destiny were, sim 
were assembled and hatched inside a cave in the Sky Kingdom. In case something happened to the originals, a second group was also hatched and raised, living with the Talons of Peace, the puppet organization the Nightwings had formed with the singular purpose of raising the Dragonettes of Destiny. Alright, I called the last part of the war the final days. In 5012, after Scorching, the original Dragonettes of Destiny were captured by Queen Scarlet after becoming fed up with their secluded life and attempting to leave the caves. After her friends were forced to battle in Scarlet's arena, the Rainwing Dragonette, a replacement for the Skywing, whose egg was crushed before it could hatch, attacked Queen Scarlet, sending the Sky Kingdom into disarray. A couple hours later, both the Queen and the Dragonettes were missing. In the absence of her mother, Princess Ruby took over the Sky Kingdom. A couple weeks after Scarlet went missing, the Skywings launched their long-awaited attack on the Seawing Summer Palace, where the Dragonettes of Destiny were found hiding out in. Right after the successful destruction of the palace, Ruby temporarily pulled out of the war to put her kingdom back in order after Scarlet going missing. With the original Dragonettes of Destiny missing once again, Marosir went to the Talons of Peace to make sure the backups could be used if need be. Unsatisfied, Marosir brought them to the Nightwing Island to train, with disappointing results. Abandoning the idea of installing a puppet on the Sandwing throne using the Dragonette prophecy, the Nightwings prepared to invade the rainforest without the support of the Sandwings. However, with help from both the backup and original Dragonettes of Destiny, the Rainwings attacked the Nightwing Island to stall the attack on the rainforest. When the island's volcano erupted, the Nightwings were forced to move to the rainforest and bow to the Rainwing Queen. This was known as the Nightwing Exodus. The Exodus had major effects on the War of Sandwing Succession, as the idea of the Dragonet Prophecy was abandoned, and to many dragons, there was no hope that the war would ever end. However, due to the actions of Sunny, the Sandwing Dragonet of Destiny, all three sisters assembled at the Royal Palace at to at last negotiate the end of the war. Burn was poisoned by Blister, but Blister was in turn killed when she tried to don the magical necklace that determines whether Queen was worthy. As Blaze was too young and inexperienced to handle running the kingdom, she handed the title of the Queen to Sunny's mother, Thorn who had been running the Scorpion Den for years and turning it into a better, safer city. The coronation of Thorn marked the end of the war. Thorn brought hope to the Sandwing tribe that it could rebuild after the devastating 20-year war. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to see more content like this. Bye!